Now, a major development in 3D printing could change the way wind turbines are produced in the future. A robotics company from Denmark has teamed up with General Electric in the States to create the world's first research and development centre dedicated to producing towers for wind turbines using a 3D printer, which is the size of a three-storey building. The towers will be made of concrete on site with the 3D printer, which eliminates the need for difficult transportation. Well, joining me now is Henrik Lund Nielsen, founder and general manager of Cobod International. Welcome to you. Thanks very much for being with us. And you're standing in front of one of the 3D printers. So just take us through how it works. Yeah, this is what we thank you. Thank you for having me. What we see here is a, is a relatively small 3D printer, uh, but you can see it consists of, uh, of uh, some C poles that goes in the height, some Y poles that, that goes in the length, and then an X, X axis that goes across. On the X axis is a printhead that extrude concrete layer by layer. And as we can see here, the whole thing happens uh, uh, automatically. Uh, it's a fully automatic. There is a person over here uh, controlling the, uh, the, the concrete extrusion and, and making sure that the speed is correct. But it isn't, uh, we are saving a lot, a lot of labor because we're only manning the printer with a couple of persons or three. So, so how do you get them in place then? Because obviously it, it's huge. It's a three-story building, the one that actually creates the, the turbines. You have to get them in place in the first place. How, how long does it take to create them and, and how many do they make? So, depending depending on, on the size of the printer, it will take anywhere from four hours to a, to a couple of days to, to set it up. A small printer like you see here is being set up in, a, in approximately four hours. And what about the larger ones then? Well, the, the, the very big ones, uh, uh, the, you know, that's within the uh, wind turbine towers is, uh, I, is, is taking around two days to, to set up. But, but we're also talking about, you know, printing a massive volume during, uh, after those uh, uh, two days, several hundred tons of, of, of concrete. And so, when, uh, re sorry? when will the um, first 3D printed turbines be up and running then? Well, within 18 to 24 months, we should see the first test tower. Uh, and test turbine being made, and then commercial application will happen, let's say, in three years or maybe four years. And how important will this technology be in making renewables more affordable, more accessible? Well, both we and PE think, uh, uh, think it will be very important uh, because onshore-based uh, uh, windmills are the most efficient alternative energy source that we have already now. It's the most competitive. Uh, but you can make it even more competitive if you can make it taller. Now, the problem with making it taller is that it's a conical tower that gets a diameter that, that uh, expands the taller you, get, you go. And we have a 4.5 meter limitations on, on transport anywhere in the world. So in essence, that means we can only go to 80 meters. But we do want to go to 160 or 200 meters. But by bringing a printer on site, we can print the first 80 or 100 meters. And then we can put a steel tower on afterwards and making it 160, 180, 200 meters. And how is 3D printing changing the industry? Well, it's changing the industry because we're making a factory on wheels. Uh, so far, windmill towers have been made by, by either steel or concrete, but it's been made in factories and then transported. And then you run into that transport limitation, whereas our printer is basically a factory on wheels. So we take the printer to the side and we print it directly on the side. And how many of these have been bought? Have you sold many of these printers? Yeah, on, on a worldwide scale, uh, uh, we sold uh, 50, uh, and we're growing very fast. We more than doubled last year, and, and we will close to double also uh, this year. We also did that uh, in, in 2020. So it's, it's, it's going very fast. Windmill towers is one application. Uh, buildings, uh, low-rise residential housing is, is another. Offices is the third. Schools is the fourth application. Uh, so there's a lot of demand out there, and we, we are selling on a global scale. So we're selling to... Japan, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, Africa, Europe, South and North America. And um, once you have them on site, is there any limit to how many they can make? No. In essence, no. And, you know, uh, uh, we are uh, making the equipment better and better, and our customers are getting better and better using them. So, so we are close to seeing that small houses are being made in a couple of days. A little bit larger houses are being made uh, within a week. Uh, so it, it's, it's really uh, uh, a speedy application, so to say. Uh, we can produce a lot in a short period of time. Okay. Henrik Lund Nielsen, founder and general manager of Cobot International. Great to see you. Thanks very much for talking us through that business.